I'd like to walk over here where, we, where it looks like we've got some dyes, and I'm guessing these are GAN dyes. Yeah, so, so starting from the left, we've got a GAN processed wafer. So this is a six inch wafer. Mm -hmm. We use TSMC to process it. We do all the design and, uh, you know, they do the processing. Sorry, TSMC? Yes. They we support GAN technologies? They do, yeah, for several years. So they're the main player for GAN processing, GAN on silicon processing. I power. honestly had no idea. I thought you'd have to go to a specialist to do something like that. No, no. TSMC has been doing it a long time, several years. Why? I had honestly no idea. So, so, yeah. what's it, so what's the second wafer doing? So like? the second wafer is a silicon carbide substrate. Yep. So silicon carbide is a crystal structure, and how this grows is uh, transparent, right? So that's pure silicon carbide? Yeah, pure silicon carbide. Oh, wow. So it grows in a ball, and then it gets sliced, mm -hmm. and then buffed and CMP'd, and you get to this stage. The next stage is to grow an epi. Uh, the layer, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Depending on the voltage you want, and then you do the processing on top. And I take it that the more, uh, the, the thicker the ep epitaxial layer, the, the higher voltage you'll be able to handle. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so for 1200 volt, you'd be maybe 10 to 12 microns thick for 650 volts, like maybe six microns. That's now, actually quite thick, isn't it? Uh, you know, that's, that's thick, but when we talk about the stuff we do, like Genesic uh, mm. technology goes to 6.5 mm. uh, kV. So that's like 65 that's microns, and that's really thick, yeah. yeah. So that takes time and, and a lot of energy to, to do that perfect. And this last wafer, as it says here, is silicon uh, carbide processed wafer. Yeah. So I take it this is when you've uh, added all the extra layers on top. Yeah, you grow the epi, and then you, you, know, you, you form the channels, you do the implant, you put the gate oxide, and then eventually you put the metal on top and the backside. So, and so what we're seeing here, are these are aluminium layers that are acting as the contacts for the uh, transistor itself? Yeah, exactly. So there's a top metallization scheme. Yep. You can see like there's a little square at the top, that's the gate. Next to that, the whole area is a source, and on the back side is a drain. Ah, so I can see something here, these little structures. What's going on here then? Well, they're just test structures. Oh, right, so these are probe points for you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, very, that's very interesting, actually. And so, and so this is like the final product before you then slice, dice, and then... Yeah, so then, then it either will get uh, diced, it gets put onto a film, gets diced, and it will be either sent as die, or it can be packaged and sent off as a discrete or a module. Now, a very important question for you. Which one are you most proud of? <laughs> these, these, both Those of two. these, yeah. No, the, 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 the GAN we do is uniquely Navitas and it is very, very, uh, uh, I don't want to say sexy, but it's very sexy, right? It's got a lot of IP in there mm. and it's, uh, it's, it's took a lot, of, it is unique, it's took unique. a lot of people to get to bat. And so you're not, you're not following the competition, you, you, you are the competition essentially, you are the leader in that area. We are the leaders, yeah, for the GAN Power IC, so very proud of the GAN Power IC. Mm -hmm. With the silicon carbide, we do have this uh, unique technology of a trench assisted planar. Oh, as you said before. Yeah, right? and, and that is, is a... Another critical point. Yeah. And so, and so but, but of these two, which one do you see being the more important business in the next 10 years? Do you think it's going to be silicon carbide or GAN? I think they've both got a big play in the market. Um, what we've seen is with silicon carbide, they deal with hard switching a lot more. So you'll see them in like the traction inverters for EVs and... I was going to say like big motors, anything that's got a lot of sudden inductance or something. Yeah, something yeah. like that or PFC. Yeah. Whereas the GAN is like a, it's like a Ferrari, it's high speed. It's designed to convert power very efficiently. Diesel engine, petrol engine, essentially. <laughs> so, so, yeah, this, yeah. so the silicon, silicon carbide has the muscle, but the GAN has the speed. This is like the Hummer, and this is like yes. the Ferrari. Hummer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something like that. 